So taking a quick look at that Winamac lineup one more time. Bentle, Malco, Hines, Potoff, and Malco again. The head coach for Winamac is Mike Springer, assisted by Aaron Hines, Andy Stepp, and Matt Schwartzall. For the Cavaliers, Cavaliers sticking with the same lineup throughout the year. Five foot ten junior number three, David Height. Five foot eleven sophomore number twenty, Jonas McEwen. The six foot junior foreign exchange student from Spain, Adria Guasp, number twenty three. And six foot two junior number thirty two, Ethan Benyon, and the senior, five foot ten, number twelve, Jack Rogers. So the starting lineup for both teams is brought to you by the Indiana Army National Guard. Live here, work here, and serve here. Head coach of the Cavaliers is Kyle Evans. Assisted by Mike Elliott. Reno Zayner, Donovan Ziaja. And Rob Hostetler. Couldn't think of Coach Hostetler's name. So the Cavaliers win the tip off. Ball goes to Height, to McEwen, and immediately to Rogers. Back to Rogers. He looks to attack, tries to drive the baseline, tries to back him down, takes a couple steps, gets it to Binion, out to Height, back to Rogers, reset things. He looks to make something happen, can't do it. Over in the corner, he's going to lose control of it, and that's going to finally, he'll gather it back up and go up, a little Euro step there, and he's on the board right away with two points. Cavaliers looking to press here. Bentle with the ball, get it over to pot off, back to Bentle, Bentle with two. Rodgers will get it to Hyde again. Cavaliers coming out in the new home jerseys. Had a couple games this so far this season. Rodgers skips it over to McEwen. McEwen to Gwasp. Gwasp for three. It's no good. It's going to be rebounded by Bentel, who lose it out of bounds, and it'll be Cavalier ball. Inbound to Height. Height over to Rogers. Rogers looks to do something with it. Gets in. Dumps it off to Height. Height for three. And it's good. So into Bentle. That's going to be knocked out of bounds by Binion. Malco, no, excuse me, Bentle will take the ball out of bounds and inbound it to Hines. Pot off, over to Malco, Malco back to Bentle. Bentle looks to get it back to uh, Hines. Correction, that is Pot off, so Pot off for two. Rogers with the ball, steps through, gets fouled, puts one up, and he's going to go to the line for two. First one for Rodgers is no good. Don't 
second one he's got. Bentle again. Over to Malco. Malco to Hines. Back to him. Malco looks to attack. He's going to get a foul on the floor there. Ball knocked out of bounds by out of bounds by Binion. Pot off with it. Gets it to Hines. Hines to Malco. Malco over to Bentle. Down into the opposite Malco, and he'll get fouled. And that'll put Will Malco at the line. And that's going to be on Guas. So Malco's shot is good. Caleb McEwen in the game for the Cavaliers. Malco's shot is good. So that foul is going to be on Bentle. Inbounded to Rogers. Rodgers gets a lot of pressure and a lot of contact from Malco. He'll finally lose it. It'll be bobbled around. Hines with it, gets it off to Bentle. Bentle for three, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Jonas McEwen. Gets it to his brother. Apparently that was a travel. Pot off with it. They're going to lose it. It's going to be knocked around out of bounds. Bentle with it. Travels. That's going to be Hines for three. Good pass over to McEwen. Jonas McEwen, lots of contact there. That ball's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be Warrior ball. Can already tell that this game is going to be interesting uh, officiating wise. Because I think we have two officials that are used to a modern game, one official that's not used to a modern game, a one of that coach that's not used to a modern game, and a Culver coach that is. So it, it's a little bit different. That's Malco on, on that one. Lots of back and forth both, by both coaches already. So to the, to the officials. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Lots of contact. Get it out to McEwen. McEwen will look to attack. Gets it down into Binion. He'll lose control of it. It'll be batted out of bounds. Should be Cavalier ball. In the game for the Cavaliers is going to be Claudel and Kennerney in for McEwen and Binion. Brady Kennerney will take the ball out of bounds. He'll go into David Height. He'll lose it, gather it, tip it back to McEwen. Height looks to try to feed Claudel. It's not there. Gets it to Rogers. Back to Height. Height for three in the corner, and it's good. So that foul is going to be on height. Defense, 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 
Malco with it. He gets fouled by Kennerney, but he'll tip it. Kennerney will get the ball. It was a lot of contact there. Surprised that wasn't called on Kennerney. Bentel with the ball. Gets it inside to Malco. He'll lose it. Rogers with it. Looks to attack. Crow hop up and in. Thought off with the ball. Bentel, Malco. Back to him. Dangerous bounce pass there. Malco looks to drive. Gets it out to Hines for three. No good. And I think Malco stepped on the line with the ball. Don't have a signal from the official. He yelled, though, so the players knew what was going on. They fall back, so I can anticipate that he stepped on the line. Lots of contact there by Melko. That's a body foul. I don't, I don't know why they're not calling that tonight, but that six games, that's been a body. Tonight, apparently not. Rebounded by Potoff. Bentel with the ball. Gets trapped in the corner. Finally gets it out to Hines. Hines looks to shoot. Doesn't. Gets it to Malco. Malco up. Rebounded by McEwen. He gets nailed in the face by, I think that's going to be the other Malco. So that'll be Will Malco's second. Rogers set to bring the ball up. Rogers looks to dump it down to Waddell, and that'll be knocked out of bounds by uh, John Melko. I think everybody knew that he had knocked it out of bounds except his teammates. <laughs> they weren't happy with that call. Ooh, that's double dribble. He's going to throw it up and it'll go in. Bentle with the ball. Back to Malco. Hines. It's going to be Jimenez in the game for Wanamak. That will be uh, Malco with that three. Hines with it. He'll bury one from the free throw line. Didn't see Aiden Jimenez come in the game. Height with the ball. Good defense there by Jimenez. The Cavaliers try to go to Claudel. Deep three, and it's good by Jack Rogers. Bentel with the ball, loses it. It's tipped, gets it back to uh, McEwen, recovers it, and looks to go back to Kennerney, but Kennerney had uh, gone too far down the floor. The defense had gotten back by the time he could. So Rogers winds up with the ball. it to Kinderney. And see that that one they called with the hand check. The body earlier the, the no call that one with the with the soft hand check. So coach uh, coach Springer has a right to be upset there. That that's just inconsistency that that one into Claudel and he goes up for two. 20 to 14 is your score. 27 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Malco with the ball. Gets it back around to Potoff. Potoff loses it. Cavaliers lose it, but it falls in the hands of McEwen. Back out to Rogers. He'll take another deep three. No good. It's going to be rebounded by McEwen. McEwen back to Rogers. Rogers goes up with a floater, and it's good. 
And that will bring the first quarter to an end where your score is Culver 22, Winnemac 14. We got a good game going here at John and Nelson Gymnasium. We're going to be right back after these words from the Indiana Army National Guard. Welcome back here, John and Nelson Gymnasium. Justin Croy with you, riding solo today. Tyler Sadal on camera. Good first quarter for the Cavaliers. 12 points for Jack Rogers in that quarter. As Coach Evans gets things talked about here at the in the first quarter. So it'll be one of Mac Ball to start the second quarter. The Cavaliers for the Cavaliers, Guasp, Binion come back in. Hines down to Potoff. Potoff turns, gets it to Jimenez, goes off the hands of Rogers. We'll lose that one. It'll be grabbed by Binion, who will get it to Rogers. Pushes it up the court to Guasp. That ball out of bounds hits a cheerleader, and it'll be one of Mac Ball. Cavaliers look to put a little pressure on here. Pot off. Bendel. Bentel, sorry. Jimenez with the ball. Lots of contact there. Bentel with the ball again. Back to Hines. Malco loses. See if they're going to get the offensive foul. They are. And that's going to be Malco's second foul of the ball game. He's probably getting a lot of body there by Kinderney. Went to step around him. Brought that elbow around. And Coach Springer's going to call a timeout. I don't know if he's looking for one tonight or what, but he is... Uh, he is talking away. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back here. 7.22 is the time. Let's see if I can get that adjusted for you. Coach Springer took a time out there. Twenty-two to fourteen is your score. I don't know if it's the band, the band, or the fans, or what, but the uh, the camera, the automatic camera that reads the scoreboard, apparently uh, is vibrating enough. It needs adjusted every now and then. So usually it does pretty good. Everything's right now, though. McEwen with the ball, back to Rogers, Kennerney, Gloss. Back to him. Over to McEwen again. Looks to Binion. Looks to drive. Kicks it to Binion. Finally comes up with it. Rogers looks to take a shot. Kennedy Guasp for three from the corner, and it's good. Adria Guasp with the tray for the Cavaliers. Pot off. Bendel. Deep from Hines. It looks good, and it is. Down in the corner, that's going to be a turnover by Rogers. That's going to go to Potoff. He's going to look to attack. Takes a Euro step, throws one up. No good. Gets his own rebound, though, then gets fouled by Kinderney. Coach Evans said wanted that wanted that call on the rebound because he was rebounding it, so he wanted it on the floor. He wasn't in the act of shooting. The official said he was tipping it. So that is 
caught off at the line. Quaffs with the ball. Rogers back to him. Another three from the corner, and it's good. Pot off to Bentel. He takes it across the timeline. Hits it down, turns it over. Into Rogers. Rogers looks to draw a foul. Doesn't, but puts one in for two. Pot off with it. Now to Burgess. Hines. Jimenez. Back to Hines. Down to Pot off at the elbow again. He loses control of it. Kennerney gets another foul called. I thought that one was that one was clean on the ball. It sounded like that from up here. But the official was right in front of it, so we're gonna go with what he says. That'll be his second. Heidel come in. Hines with the ball, gets it to Burgess, pot off, back to Hines. Bentel, ooh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. That fouls on McEwen. I thought the offensive guy stepped into him and it was just normal, normal contact. Pot off with the ball. Bentel down to Jimenez. He turns, fires it back out to Hines. He's a shooter, goes up for three, in and out. Rebounded by Rodgers. Rodgers looks to push the ball up the court. Gets it to Height. It's tipped around. Height finally has control of it. Gloss back to Rodgers. Rodgers for three. No good. Rebounded by Potoff. And he's going to protect it as the Cavaliers put a little pressure on and give it to Hines. Hines pushes it up to Burgess. Back to Potoff. Potoff looks to attack. Little contact by Binion. No call. He's going to get caught with it down on the baseline. It's going to be batted around. Burgess back to Hines. And it's going to be off the leg of McEwen. Should have been a kicked ball, but eventually it'll roll back around. It'll be turned over to Jack Rogers. Rogers will go up with it. Looks to dunk. Can't quite do it. But two points for Jack Rogers. So, Coach Springer gets his warning, which we could see that coming from the beginning of the game. Rodgers tried to dunk the ball, missed the dunk, went up, touched the rim with his hand. Coach Springer wanted the technical because he touched the rim, which is a pregame violation, not an in-game violation, especially when a guy has a fast break dunk. But after complaining again, the official finally interrupted the timeout call and gave much to the appreciation of, uh, of the fans an official warning. So, ball will be inbounded by Potoff to Bentel, back to him. Burgess, Hines, Burgess cuts through, doesn't quite get there. Hines back to Potoff. Back to pot off at the corner after going through with it, rebounded by Binion. Ball will finally get to Rogers. Over to Gwasp, looks for it. Gwasp looks, kicks it to McEwen. McEwen for three, no good. Bounces around and it goes in. Ball's gonna, oh, official had a guy right in front of him. There's no way he's gonna be able to see that call. He called it from half court when the play's in the paint. That's just being pressured by a coach. Mercy. That, that one. It wasn't even in the shot on the camera. So that'll be McEwen second. Called by a guy that was past half court in a three-man crew. Bentel with it, gets it down to Hines. Hines for three, no good, rolls around, it's gonna be rebounded by Burgess, back to Potoff. Gets trapped, 
Takes his dribble, gets it back down inside. That's Hines again. Went from having two Melcos to two Hines on the court. That's going to be pot off. He looks to take one, takes a step, floats one. That's going to be a foul. Body foul there. I think that's Binion. So that will be on Binion. That's going to put Pot off at the line again. First one's good. Brendan Hines and Jaden Hines. Sorry, Jabin Hines. J A Y B I N. Pot off second one's no good. Finally gathered by Claudel. Wasp with the ball. Cavaliers look to attack. Wasp gets it inside. Claudel can't handle it. Hines with the ball. Puts one up. Rolls off the front of the rim. Pot off with it. Eventually bounces around. It's going to be off Wasp. And inside to Burgess. Hines with the ball, gets it back to him. Wide open is Burgess, can't make it fall. Tipped around, it's going to go in the hands of Hines again, and that's going to be stolen by David Height. Height's going to get it to Gloss. Ball's going to be tipped around out of bounds. Almost hits the head cheerleading coach and her son. Cavalier ball. Wasp is going to take the ball out of bounds for the Cavaliers. Finally... Thank you, Mr. Official, for waiting on us. Ball's going to be inbounded to Rogers, who's going to get trapped in the corner. And eventually the throwout doesn't go as planned. Gloss with a floater, and he gets it. Hines with the ball. Off his foot, out of bounds. So Rodgers will bring the ball across half court for the Cavaliers. Look to attack. Curls. Puts one up. In and out. Re rebound's going to be by Burgess. He gets it to Hines to pot off. Back to Hines. Hines looks to cross. Skips it down the court to Bentle. Back to pot off. Bentle for three in the corner. It looks good and it is. Wasp goes up for three, gets stuffed by the underside of the backboard. Ball's going to come back down, get rolled around. That's going to end up with Justin Potoff on the ground. That looked violent. I think he just, he just got tripped up. I don't think it was a hard, hard contact, but I think he may have gotten the ball underneath him. Potoff's first one's no good. And the second one falls. Rogers looks to push the ball up the floor. 37 23 is your score. 132 left to go here in the first half. Height with the ball. Over to Rogers. Back to McEwen. Wide open is height. That looks short. It is. He gets his own rebound and puts it wide open back in the basket. Bought off with the ball. Down to Bentel. Bentel back to pot off. They're going to get the foul on the floor. That foul is going to be on Claudel, his first. One of Mac fans want the shooting foul. I, I don't disagree with him. I think he 
He was in the act of shooting. He was going hard to the basket. Putoff's first one's good. Number 20, Jonathan McEwen checks back into the Cavaliers. And his second one's good. McEwen down inside. Heck of a foul there. He had that ball had to be tipped. There's no way that the ball that he would just shoot the ball to the top of the backboard out of bounds. That ball had to be tipped. They're gonna say no. That one is tipped by Jonas McEwen. That's a nice finger roll there by Jabin Hines. Rodgers with it, throws one up off the glass, gets his own rebound. Pretty clear over the back call there, but nobody else was making a play on the ball, and they tend not to call that when that's the case. Yeah, he goes, oh, they're going to get him on the floor again. Potoff can't catch a break on those floor fouls. First one's good. And the second one's good. Seven seconds left to go here. Height. Deep three for Height, no good. Puts it back up by McEwen, that one's no good. So, the A at halftime, your score, Culver 39, Wanamak 29. We'll be right back with halftime points and just a second. It will indeed be Cavalier ball to start the third quarter. Rogers with it to McEwen, back to him. He gets it to Height. Over to Jonas McEwen. Guas with the ball back to him, turns it over out of bounds. So that steal is going to be by McEwen. He'll immediately get it to Binion. That'll be Rodgers with the ball to McEwen for three. Looks short, it is. Airballed it. Inbounded by Malco. Bendel, Hines, opposite Malco. Back to him. Looks to attack. Has the ball in the paint. Gets it to Hines. Hines down into Potoff, and Potoff can't get it to roll. It's going to be rebounded by Guasp, who gets it to Rodgers. Cavaliers look to attack here. Throws a floater up, gets his own rebound. Back to that would eventually went to Height. Now it's in the hands of Rodgers again. He looks to attack here. Pulls it back out. Looks again. Kicks it over to Height. Clears out to Rodgers. Rodgers for three. Looks flat. It is. Rebounded by Potoff. Cavaliers having a hard time connecting here. But another turnover by Wanamak. Wasp goes to the line with it, takes 15 steps, and then <laughs> Coach Evans not happy with him. I think it was poor because he uh, didn't think he did anything wrong. So, Bentle with the ball. Malco. Hot off. Takes a strong win to the basket. First points of the third quarter come from Jason Potoff. 
body foul there. It's going to be on Bentle, his second. McEwen takes the ball out of bounds. Gets it to Guasp in the corner for three. He chucks a deep one, and it's good. Adria Guasp buries it from beyond the arc. Hines with the ball to John Malco. Back to Bentle. Ball stolen away by Height. Height will lay it in. your score. Down to Potoff. Potoff looks uh, Malco on the backside. Gets the other Malco on the backside. He's got a clear lane to the basket. He's going to get and one there. So that foul is going to be on Binion, which is going to be his third. And that's going to be Malco's first points of the second half. So Will Malco at the line. No good. Bounces around. Eventually grabbed by Rogers. Jump pass there. Gets it out to Height. Back to Rogers. As McEwen cuts through. And they're going to get pot off for a hand check again. That's the. I feel sorry for these guys as far as playing defense with both sides. Man, it. That's got to be tough. Trying to adjust to how they're going to call the game, which is something that happens every game, every officiating crew, but both sides here. McEwen with the ball. Oh, oh they're going to get pot off with a foul. He slid and kicked it. I think, he do- I think he dove on the floor after the ball, ended up kicking it, which tripped up Jonas McEwen, and the official called the foul on pot off. I think that was just incidental contact. Two-pointer for Height is good. Cavaliers continuing to press. Malco. Fancy feet there. Gemini is going to end up with it. It's going to go to Hines. Over to Potoff. Down to Malco again. He'll look. A little contact. Ball's going to be picked up. Finally gathered. Jimenez with it, puts up a shot, settles things down a little bit, rebounded by Height. Good defensive effort there by Winamac. Rogers with the ball, backs him down the lane. McEwen looks to drive, kicks it back out to David Height, who picks the ball up, steps around him for the three. It's flat, in and out, rebounded by Potoff as Height gets up for the press. Ball's grabbed out of the air by Rogers, and... Potoff will kick that one out of bounds after a <laughs> after a good hustle play. Caleb McEwen coming into the game, so excited, runs straight onto the court, has to get the old uh, has to get the old shirt tug report to the bench from Coach Evans. Ball finally inbounded to Rogers. He's guarded by Bentle. He looks to attack, wide open lane, throws one up. Foul's going to be on the floor. Oh, he's going to call an offensive foul. Oh, yep, definitely. Can see it there as... Ah, sorry about that on the replay there as he attacks. Pushes off a little bit. Over and back violation on... uh, Winamac while we were watching that replay. Two 
As the Cavalier pet block gets into the game for the first time this year. Turner, turnover there by Rogers, who's going to pick his pocket, get the ball in the corner. Throws the Hail Mary to, uh, it's going to be intercepted by Bentel, who's going <laughs> to turn it right back over to Rogers. Rogers is going to get it on the backside, drives into the lane and puts it up for two. Lots of contact, no call there. And there's going to be a timeout by Coach Evans. Good hustle play there by the Cavaliers. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Culver TV. Welcome back here. Need a mic in the uh, timeout in the huddle. Something that can get uh, edited before we... <laughs> I don't want to leave that up to interpretation. I think we have to get Gary as our on-the-floor reporter for Thursday's girls game. See if we can incorporate that, Tyler. Part of your capstone. What a Mac with the ball. Oh, picks it up, turns it over. That was Hines. Jabin Hines. Wide open is height, flat three. Yep, and he's going to end up fouling Malco. Foul number three on the Cavaliers, David Hyatt in second. Let's see, third. 22, John Malco checks back in for the Warriors. Benzel with the ball. Back to John Malco. Hines tries to get it baseline to Jimenez, who gets the up. He got, he got a little contact there. That was by uh, Logan. Should have been. Oh, they're going to say that was on Caleb, but definitely. I thought Jimenez got ran over by Claudel maybe a little bit earlier than that. Over in the corner, that's Malco for three. Rodgers from behind the backboard. Oh, wow. They're going to call that on Jack Rodgers. Coach is going to, Coach Evans fired up here. Great play there, great hustle play by Jack Rogers to come and strip the ball from him. And the official says he got him in an arm bar. They're going to give the ball to Wanamak. After a solid hustle play from Jack Rogers, that's the fifth foul. Coach Evans chewing on the official, letting him know what he thinks of that call. While he's while they're playing that, we're going to cut and let you. Oh, we just missed the tail end of the play as far as the uh, as far as the replay goes on that one. So that's John Melko at the line. That'll be interesting to see on film. That's a guy that. Uh, that's a guy that's just tougher than tougher than you, stronger than you, better athlete than you, out, outpowering you, and you're going to call it because he's a tougher, bigger, stronger athlete. So I think that's what Coach Evans was getting at, right, when you, when, uh, you have the athletic genetics and determination of Jack Rogers and you come in and strip a ball from somebody that falls on you. <laughs> Three basket by... McEwen's no good. Rebounded by Jimenez. Gets it over to Hines. Hines to Bentel. Bentel to Malco. Stripped away. Holy cow. Mercy me. What more do they want from a defensive play? This is what we talked about earlier in the game. Not just for the Cavaliers, but for both sides. Guy picks, picks his pocket on a 
on a turnover. The Cavaliers come into tonight's game averaging 17 and a half steals. And on top of that, Winnemac averaging 18 turnovers. And those are, those are our fouls that are going to get called. So it seems like a lot of contact, but not a lot of hands. I don't think they care much about body-to-body -body contact, but they don't like hands. So as long as you don't touch somebody with your hands, it's not a foul. That one's no good. Malco's first one was. That one's put back up by the other Malco. And that's going to be a foul on 32. That's going to be on Imenez. Thirty-eight to forty-eight, your score. Wanamac hanging in there. Rogers on the bonus shots here. And he gets both of them. I was looking at my stats here. I did not see what happened on that one. I'm going to go back to the... That foul is going to be on... Oh, yeah, McEwen with the tackle. Rebound there by McEwen. That three by Height is no good. Menez with the ball. Over to Malco. Good ball handling there by Malco. Bentel for three is long. Rebounded, but out of bounds by Rogers. So it'll be Winamac ball. 50 38 your score. 113 left to go here in. That's Bentel again. He'll get the rebound. Hines for a deep three. No good. Tipped around. Finally grabbed by Malco. And recovered by Caleb McEwen. So Rodgers will take one. High off the glass. Floater gets his own rebound. Puts the ball back up. Gets fouled. And he's going to get a basket. Rodgers and one is no good. Cavaliers maintaining pressure. Wodemack doing a good job fighting through it. Bentel with the ball in the corner. Back to Malco. Malco looks to attack. Has a wide open lane. Up and under. That's a good play by John Malco. Over in the corner, height for three, looks short is, rebounded by McEwen, but he loses control of it. And that's going to be taken away by Will Malco, who's going to put it up off the glass. And I think the first down is going to go to Wanamac. Oh, wait, wrong sport. They're going to call it on height. <laughs> that clearly was not on David Height, but he was close. It was definitely a foul, though, so Malco's at the line.
6.5 seconds left to go here. Ball's recovered by McEwen. Gets it to Claudel, who takes about seven steps. Finally gets it up. Lots of contact there. No call. That's going to end the third quarter. 40-52 to 52 is your score in favor of the Cavaliers. That was an interesting third quarter. An emotional third quarter. The good, that, that's one of the good third quarters in any kind of high school basketball. Right? High emotions, back and forth. Calls both ways. Coach Springer has not been ups as upset all night as Coach Evans was on, on the call against Rodgers in the armbar, which was a little bit hard to believe. Jack, Jack is, uh, just simply went in there and grabbed the, grabbed the ball. And so if they were calling it after the ball, possibly, but that was just a guy being stronger. And so Coach, Coach Evans wasn't thrilled. But that was an interesting third quarter. Extra step taken there, no call. Ball's going to get into Malco. He got the hook there by McEwen. Rodgers with the ball. Deep three. Looks good. Is not rebounded by MS. Malco with the ball. Gets it to the other Malco. Rebounded finally by, or rebounded, stolen by Rogers. He's going to get it to Gwasp. Gwasp loses it, gets the ball back, throws it out of bounds. <laughs> Coach Evans, his tactics are second to dud. Rebounded by Guasp. Adria Guasp for three. Of course, I was looking at my stat sheet, didn't see it. Jimenez with the ball. Back over to, I think that's Hines, puts it up. Ball's finally going to be gathered by Binion. That's going to be a lob there to McEwen, who's going to take a weird Euro step. Wasp for a standstill, three, and he's got it. And that's going to go to John Malco, or Will Malco, who's going to get the shot. And I believe the timeout's going to be called by the Warriors. Welcome back here. 58 44 is your score. Six minutes left to go here in the ball game. Ball's inbounded to McEwen. Three ball, in and out. It's going to be Binion's fourth. Pot off with the ball. Goes up and around. Justin Potoff for two. Gloss drives baseline, kicks it out. 
It's a three ball by McEwen. It's going to roll off, rebounded by Guasp. He's going to look to put it up, loses control of it, finally gets it back to Rogers. Rogers is going to reset things with the ball. Top of the key. Looks to move things around. Gets a ball screened by Binion. He looks to attack, pulls it back out, handoff to Height. Height looks to attack. Can't find anybody. Over to Guas. Wide open three. He's got it. So Adria Guasp hits his sixth three of the evening. This timeout is sponsored by the Culver Community Athletic Boosters, proud supporters of the Cavaliers and the Cavalier Spirit Spots. For all your Culver Community apparel needs, open all varsity home games. Visit the Cavalier Spirit Spot located in the high school, I should say old office of the high school. The old high school office for those alumni that remember when it was inside what is now door 32. This is Maverick in her entrepreneur class. Do a great job. Custom orders for any Cavalier apparel. If they don't have your size, they'll make it for you. All student created products. So if you haven't been to Culver Community High School in the last three weeks, stop by the Spirit Spot, your spot for the Spirit. Burgess with the inbound to pot off. Over to Hines. Lindell, Hines. Malco. Malco steps through, goes up strong. Rebound is gathered by Binion. Rogers pulls it out, tries to clear things, reset. Kill a little time. Pot off, continuing to play strong defense. Gwasp with the ball. Three fifty left to go here, and that foul is going to be on Burgess. I believe that is his first, and it is. That foul, that foul might have been drawn by Rogers as well. I think that's a little Stacy Stevens esque. Coach Elliott used to say Stacy would dribble drive right in front of somebody and stop, wait for him to hit her and fall down, and get her call. Rogers with the ball. He's guarded by Bentel. He steps in, kicks out to Height. Height back to Rogers. Rogers looks to attack again, takes two steps, pivots, goes back to McEwen with it. Cavaliers looking for their shot. Hand off to McEwen. Back the other way. Quaffs now with the ball. Too much dribbling. And Cavaliers are going to get the timeout called. Coach uh, Coach Evans was watching, and the uh, Winnemac faithful wanted a carrying call, and I don't I don't blame him there. Cavaliers will inbound the ball to Rogers. 61-46 your score. 3:15 left to go here in the fourth quarter. That's going to be Burgess's second. Don't know where Max the Cavalier is tonight. I was told he was going to be here. Quick officials timeout. Oh, look at the new fancy mop. Zoom in on that mop. Look at that thing. That is custom logo Cavalier head mop there. It's Culver Community Athletic Director Mike Zayner putting in the hard work for the Cavaliers. Says, I don't need your towel. Athletic trainer Joe Day. Floater, no good. Rebounded by Malco. 
John Malco looks to attack. Gets it back. Down inside. Out of bounds by Potoff. Potoff could have pivoted around and shot that from about 10 feet. He tried to force it down inside. It just wasn't there. Good look. Good play by Winnemac. Just a little, little too much. And now here comes the press. Holy cow with a push in the back there by Potoff. They're going to let him play through this one. Burgess for two. Wasp with the ball. Good pass there to McEwen. Way to recognize it, lead him. McEwen dribbles through. Lots of hands. And lots of contact there. Still two minutes left in the game here as Height puts one in. Kicked ball, no whistle. Oh. That is Malco with the interception. Oh, that's off the hands of Oh, that that was off the hands of uh That was off the hands of Binion. I don't not sure if in a minute and 49 seconds I don't, I don't blame uh, Coach Springer here. Pretty agitated. That was off the hands of Binion, or at least it looked that way from up here. Based, by, based on no reaction from the Culver crowd and a big reaction by the Wittemack crowd, I would say I think everybody saw that ball go out of bounds off of Binion, except for the official. That foul is going to be on Will Malco. That's his fourth. Cavaliers lead 63 to 50 as looking to get into foul trouble here. Or looking to get into fouling situation here. That's going to be Burgess's third, I believe it is. Wafts with the ball. Out of bounds off of a bad pass from Height. Flying a little too close to the sun on the sideline. Good pass there from Bentol to Malco. Three balls. No good, rebounded. It's going to eventually fall in the hands of Jonas McEwen, who's going to get it pulled out and get things settled down for the Cavaliers. And they're going to foul. Foul number zero for the Warriors. Big Bentley is third. The team's fifth of the quarter. Cavaliers are now in the bonus. Jonas McEwen at the line. Jimmy two. Cavaliers in the bonus. First one's good. Second one's no good. Rebounded by Malco to the other Malco. He'll lose control of it, and Reese Harrell will end up with the ball on the sideline. Gaben Hines coming in for Burgess. And Logan Claudel comes out of the game. Foul 
So Rogers at the line. First one's good. Second one's good. Shot by Malco's no good. Over to high, uh, Height, sorry. Height's shot is off the glass as Wittemack continues to push here. Malco for a deep three, gets it. Sixty-eight fifty-five is your score. We're going to take one more 30-second break, and we're going to be right back. Welcome back here. Wops <laughs> gathers the foul. Cavs make some last second substitutions here. Quasps shots go in. That one's no good. It's going to be rebounded by Hines. Rebounded by Kinnernay. Looks like a 30 second timeout here with 20 seconds left to go. Looks like he's going to kind of talk, talk to his guys about being smart here uh, as far as going through, you know, not the handshake line and, and just in general, lots of, uh, well, let's put it this way, lots of talking, not from the Winnemac boys, but from their coaching staff and their fans here. And I think coach is trying to settle them down, our guys down, the, the, try to make sure that they leave here smart. I know uh, there's a couple of fans on this side that are, well, one gentleman in front of me, one of that guy, official had to actually come over and tell him to not make any more noise. And Kitterney's second one is good. Bentel, rebounded by Claudel. Solid rebound. Don't know what more you want him to do with it. Wow. Wow. Uh, we'll capture that. So, final score, 71-55. Is your final score... We're going to take a break. 